Hi, I'm Yoko from Autonomous University. I present Field Sweep, a 2D tracking system with embedded magnets and a smartphone. This is a joint work with Autonomous University, TU Eindhoven, and National Taiwan University. Field Sweep is a 2D tracking system that uses a magnet placed in a specific configuration and a magnetic sensor in your smartphone. The smartphone is laid on the flat surface of the magnet to locate the position of the smartphone itself. For constructing this system, we only need permanent magnets and the smartphone. There is no need for a power supply or special hardware. Among magnet-based tracking studies, there are works of reading finger, hand or stylus movements around the magnetic sensors by moving magnets. With this approach, it was hard to expand the tracking range beyond tens of centimeters because increasing the area of the sensor size requires a corresponding number of sensors and power. On the other hand, there is a research to fix the magnets and move the sensor size. The advantage of this approach is that the fixed object size is completely passive. However, in the previous research, a special device had to be attached to the finger and only one magnet was used. Our idea is to expand the sensing range by arranging magnets in a planar pattern and to use a sensor of the smartphone for the tracking. Now, let's introduce how our tracking system works. This is a magnet board we use for the tracking. Magnetic vectors above this surface are used as a tracking marker. First of all, a permanent magnet generates a constant magnetic field around it. We cut out one side of the magnetic field slightly away from the center, simulate and record the data of the magnetic field on that side. On this surface, we measure the magnetic vector using a 3-axis magnetic sensor. For example, suppose we get this vector value from the measurement. Basically, if we find the closest vector to this value from the pre-recorded data, we can determine the position of that vector as the current sensor position. If there are several similar vectors at different points, we can select the one that is closest to the previous estimated position. Now, let's see how we extend the tracking field's range. We have implemented these two types of magnet arrangement. First, if you place magnets in a checker pattern, for example, this is the rotation of the same unit pattern, so the unique pattern is limited to the area of a square. Here we thought of using a Hoback array. The Hoback array consists of magnets arranged in the orientation shown in the figure so that only the magnetic field on one side is stronger than the other. And this time, we use the Hoback array in two ways, circular and rectangular, to create and implement the pattern. We evaluated the accuracy of tracking for each of the two patterns. The distance between the estimated position and the actual position on each point was measured. The error for one side of the measurement area was 12% for pattern 1 and 9% for pattern 2. Here, the intensity of the error depends on the distance between the magnet, magnet pattern, and the angle of the sensor. We created an application of magnifying glass. Other possible uses include public maps or interactive kiosks. Finally, there are limitations and considerations. In this study, we implemented and evaluated the system using only one type of smartphone. However, due to the different characteristics and operating programs of magnetic sensors installed in smartphones, the operations of the magnetic sensors may differ depending on the model. Also, too strong magnetic field can prevent the smartphone from working properly, so we created a space about 40 mm between the magnet and the sensing surface. In the future, we would like to consider the layout of the magnets so that the strong magnetic field is not concentrated but is distributed widely throughout the entire area. Thanks for watching. For more detail, please read our paper and see you at the conference.